फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम स्टैंडर्ड एट्थ जनरल साइंस चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टीन मेजरमेंट एंड इफेक्ट्स ऑफ हीट जस्ट फॉर रिविजन सम पॉइंट आर टू बी डिस्कस्ड हियर व्हिच सोर्सेस डू वी गेट हीट फ्रॉम अपाला को उष्णते स्रोत है कि ज्यापासन अपने उष्णता मिलते येबल आप विचार कराए थिंकिंग कराए हाउ इज द हीट ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम वन सब्सटन्स टू अनदर सब्सटन्स उष्णते स्थानांतरण कस होते का ही मार्ग यपूर्वी इतना आती अपने विचार कराएं आठवाये विच इफेक्ट्स ऑफ हीट डू यू नो उष्णते को परिणाम आप आठवत हे थोड़स अपन उजरनी करू वी हैव ऑल्सो सीन दैट वेन वी गिव हीट टू एन ऑब्जेक्ट इट एक्सपांड्स एंड इट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स ऑन कूलिंग ऑल्सो द स्टेट ऑफ मैटर चेंजेस ड्यू टू हीट द यूनिट ऑफ हीट इन एस आई सीस्टीम इज जूल एंड द यूनिट ऑफ हीट इन सीरियस सीस्टीम इज कैलरी वन कैलरी हीट इज इक्वेल टू फोर पॉइंट एटीन जूल नाउ वॉट इज दिस वन कैलरी हीट हियर वन कैलरी हीट इज द हीट रिक्वायर्ड टू इन्क्रीज द टेम्परेचर ऑफ वन ग्रैम ऑफ वॉटर थ्रू वन डिग्री सेल्सियस ओके नाउ सम सॉल्वड एग्जाम्पल्स आर शोन हियर लेट अस स्टडी अबाउट दीज एग्जाम्पल्स How much heat will be needed to raise the temperature of 1.5 kg of water from 15 degree Celsius to 45 degree Celsius? Give the answer in calories as well as in joule. Now, mass of the water is 1.5 kg is equal to actually 1.5 kg water is to be converted into gram. Therefore, we have to multiply by 1000. here therefore it will be equal to 1500 gram change in temperature is from 15 degree celsius to 45 degree celsius therefore 45 degree celsius minus 15 degree celsius is equal to now this degree celsius is taken common and 45 minus 15 is equal to 30 therefore change in temperature will be 30 degree celsius now heat required for the temperature change is to be calculated now how to calculate the heat required for temperature change is equal to mass of water in gram into change in temperature that is delta t now this multiplication will be equal to mass of the water that is 1500 gram into change in temperature that is 30 This multiplication is equal to forty-five thousand calories. Now we know that one calorie is equal to four point eighteen joule. Therefore, forty-five thousand calories is equal to forty-five thousand into four point eighteen joule. Therefore, it will be equal to one lakh eighty-eight thousand hundred joule. Now, if the temperature of water changes by 10 degree celsius on giving 300 calories of heat what is the mass of water now amount of heat given to water is 300 calories change in temperature is of 10 degree celsius mass of the water is to be calculated now according to the formula amount of heat given is equal to mass of water into change in temperature now we know the amount of heat given to the water that is 300 calories is equal to mass of the water is to be calculated and change in temperature is given that is of 10 degree celsius therefore now mass is equal to 300 divided by 10 because here 10 which is in the form of multiplication when it will change its side it will go into the denominator to the lhs therefore m is equal to 300 divided by 10 is equal to 30 gram see here the sources of heat of which first is the sun sun is the biggest source of heat received by the earth a large amount of heat is generated due to the nuclear fusion reaction which is taking place at its center 
In this process, hydrogen nuclei fuse together to form helium nuclei and in that process a large amount of heat is released and that heat reaches up to earth and that we receive in the form of light and heat. The next source of heat is the earth. As the temperature of the center of the earth is high, the earth is also a source of heat and this heat is called as geothermal energy. म्हणजे भू औष्णिक ऊर्जा असं आपण त्याला म्हणतो पृथ्वीच्या भूगर्भामध्ये अति प्रचंड उष्ण अशा पद्धतीचा लावारस असतो नेक्स्ट इज केमिकल एनर्जी वेन फ्युअल्स लाईक वूड कोल पेट्रोल एटसेट्रा बर्न देर इज केमिकल रिएक्शन बिटवीन दी फ्युअल अँड ऑक्सिजन हीट इज जनरेटेड इन दीज रिएक्शन्स अँड दॅट हीट इज युटिलाइज फॉर द प्रोसेस ऑफ आयदर कुकिंग or some other works now the next is electrical energy in our daily life we have seen several equipments which produce heat with the help of electricity that is electric press electric heater geyser etc thus electricity is a source of heat now the next source Now the next source of heat is atomic energy. A huge amount of heat is produced in a very short time when the nuclei of some elements like uranium, thorium, like radioactive substances undergo the fission reaction. This is used in atomic energy projects and from that using this heat energy water is converted into steam and that steam is released on the turbine with great pressure and using that speed electric energy is generated now next is air a large amount of heat is present in the air which is around us now what is the temperature we can find out how hot or cold an object is by touching the object however our sense of hot or cold is relative that means we compare the amount of energy present in that object here three similar vessels are taken and in these vessels vessel a b c are placed here in a there is hot water b is with cold water and some water from a and some water from b is placed or is mixed in vessel c and then again we are going to dip our hands in this vessel c then what do we feel we will feel that vessel c is colder than a and vessel c is warmer or hot than vessel b that means this is a a relative sensation of heat even though both the hands are dipped in water in the same vessel the water at the same temperature your right hand will feel water to be cold while the left hand will find it to be hot what is the reason for this think about it asa ka ghadto you must have understood from the above activity that we cannot determine the temperature of the object accurately by simply touching it ekhadya vastula sparsh karun apan tyamadil ushnata kiti ahe tyacha tapman kasa ahe he sangu shakat nahi also you may hurt yourself by touching very hot or cold objects so we feel the need of some device for measuring temperature thermometer is a device for measuring temperature you have read about thermometer in the previous class in this lesson you are going to learn about the construction of a thermometer now heat and temperature these two points are considered here for difference what is the difference between heat and temperature we know that a substance is made up of atoms the atoms in a substance are always in motion the total kinetic energy of the atoms in a substance is a measure of the heat contained in that substance 
एखाद्या पदार्थामध्ये संपूर्ण पदार्थामधल्या सर्व कणांच्यामध्ये जी काही कायनेटिक एनर्जी असेल गतिज ऊर्जा असेल त्या संपूर्ण गतिज ऊर्जेची बेरीज म्हणजे त्या पदार्थामध्ये असलेली उष्णता ऊर्जा वाईल द टेम्परेचर ऑफ दिस सबस्टन्स इज रिलेटेड टू द ॲव्हरेज कायनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ ॲटम्स सरासरी गतिज ऊर्जा किती हे आपल्याला टेम्परेचरमधून समजतं इफ द ॲव्हरेज कायनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ ॲटम्स इन टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स इज इक्वल देन देअर टेम्परेचर्स विल ऑल्सो बी इक्वल नाव हिअर ए अँड बी फिगर्स आर शोन विच शो द वेलॉसिटीज ऑफ ॲटम्स इन ए गॅस ॲट हाय अँड लो टेम्परेचर दॅट मीन्स हिअर हाय टेम्परेचर इज देअर वेलॉसिटी इज मोर ॲज कम्पेअर्ड विथ द कूलर गॅस ओके नाव the direction and the length of the arrows attached to the atoms show the direction and magnitude of the velocity of the atoms the velocity of atoms in the gas at higher temperature is larger than the velocity of atoms in the gas at lower temperature the velocities of atoms in a solid object are shown by arrows in figure 14.3c the atoms in a solid object are tied to one another because of the forces acting on them त्यांच्यावर वेगवेगळ्या प्रकारचे जे काय विद्युत प्रभार प्र आकर्षित करत असतात त्या त्यांना बांधून टाकत असतात त्यांच्यामुळं सर्व अणू एकमेकांना बांधून टाकलेले असतात सो दे कॅनॉट बी डिस्प्लेस्ड फ्रॉम देअर प्लेसेस बिकॉज ऑफ हीट दे ऑसिलेट अराउंड देअर फिक्स्ड पोझिशन हायर द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द सॉलिड फास्टर इज द वेलॉसिटी ऑफ इट्स ऑसिलेशन सपोज ए अँड बी are two objects made from the same substance the mass of a is twice than mass of b that means the number of atoms in a is twice as compared with the number of atoms in b even if the temperatures of a and b are equal the average kinetic energy of atoms in a is same as that of in object b but the total kinetic energy of atoms in a is twice than that of b thus heat content in a is twice than that of heat content in b even though both have the same temperature the temperature is measured in units of celsius that means in degree celsius degree fahrenheit kelvin kelvin is used in scientific experiments while the other two are used in daily life the relation between these three are given below the relation between the degree fahrenheit and degree celsius is shown by the formula f minus 32 divided by 9 is equal to c divided by 5 this is the relation between degree fahrenheit and degree celsius it can also be formulated like this f minus 32 is equal to 9 by 5 c second is kelvin is equal to degree celsius plus 273.5 this is the relation between the kelvin and degree celsius some specific temperatures are given in the three scales in the following table verify that they satisfy the above relations and fill the appropriate numbers in the blanks this is the chart here boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius in kelvin we have to use or we have to add 273.15 in this and therefore we will get this value and we have to convert this 100 degree celsius into degree fahrenheit by using this formula likewise other values are to be confirmed and you have to fill these gaps now some solved examples are given here how much will the temperature of 68 degree fahrenheit will be in celsius and kelvin now temperature in fahrenheit is 68 degree fahrenheit temperature in celsius is to be calculated and temperature in kelvin is to be again calculated according to the formula number 1 f minus 32 divided by 9 is equal to c divided by 5 therefore now this degree fahrenheit is in 68 therefore 
putting the value of this f in this formula we will get 68 minus 32 divided by 9 is equal to c divided by 5 now c will remain on the right hand side and this 5 which is present in the, the denominator of that right hand side it is taken to the left hand side it will go into the numerator therefore now c is equal to 5 into this 68 minus 32 is equal to 36 divided by 9 now this multiplication and division will be equal to 20 degree celsius now according to the formula number 2 k is equal to degree celsius plus 273.15 is equal to 20 plus 273.15 is equal to 293.15 thus the temperature in celsius is equal to 20 degree celsius and in kelvin it will be 293.15 kelvin at what temperature will its value be same in celsius and in fahrenheit here the given data is if the temperature in celsius is c then the temperature in fahrenheit will be f and both will be same therefore f is equal to c therefore by using the formula number one f minus 32 divided by 9 is equal to c divided by 5 now putting the value that is f is equal to c therefore putting the c in place of f we will get c minus 32 divided by 9 is equal to c divided by 5 therefore now c minus 32 into 5 is equal to c into 9 therefore we will get c minus 32 into 5 that means 5c minus 32 into 5 that is 160 is equal to 9c therefore now then this 5c will go to the right hand side then its sign will be changed therefore 9c minus 5c it will be equal to 4c and minus 160 will remain as it is therefore now this 4 which is in the form of multiplication it will go into the right hand side in the denominator therefore we will get minus 160 divided by 4 this division will be equal to minus 40 that means the temperature minus 40 degree celsius is the temperature at which the celsius and fahrenheit will be same now the thermometers here a thermometer which is shown is made up of the alcohol that means this is alcoholic thermometer this is used to measure the low temperatures in cold storages this second type of thermometer is a clinical thermometer in this clinical thermometer there is a special provision in which if the heat is gained by this mercury bulb or mercury it rises up into this tube in the vacuum created tube and then it will remain as it is because a very small notch is present at this place and until we give some jerks to this mercury in downward direction it will remain as it is at the fixed position and we can take the proper reading now the next type of thermometer is a digital thermometer in which the temperature is shown digitally either in the form of degree celsius or in the form of degree fahrenheit and one more provision is present in this th digital thermometer is that above 99 degree fahrenheit temperature it will give a beeping sound so that we can know the temperature is present in the body likewise here there is a maximum minimum thermometer is present and this thermometer will indicate the lowest temperature in a day and the highest temperature in the day